Well, hey, it's Lynn Brown. Welcome to the Gritty Women Global Podcast, episode 125. Just before we begin, I want to let you know that I'm a results coach. I help women get from where they are to where they want to be. Just so you know, I spent the first half of my life trapped in comparison. And then in my spare time, y'all, I was literally trapped by the opinions of others. I was a world-class people pleaser. But then one day, I just got sick and tired of being sick and tired. And I drew a line in the sand. Now, I'll just go ahead and tell you, my life is far from perfect. But I sure am, I mean, a heck of a lot better off than I was. But when I changed how I was looking at things, the things that I looked at began to change. And, yeah, I wish I had a nickel for every time I, I heard, you know, hear somebody say, you know, I'm, I'm going to do it when, blah, 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 blah. Or I'm getting ready to get ready to do so and so and so and so. Or I'm going to wait until the time is right. Or, you know, I don't have time now. I'm waiting until our finances are a little bit better. Or I'm waiting for, you know, whatever taxes to come back or I'm waiting for January 1st or I'm waiting to have kids first or I'm waiting for my kids to leave home and trust me that was my strategy too for the first half of my life and I don't recommend it for anyone the thing is I never really knew why I procrastinated why I put things off I mean I made up reasons and excuses I blamed my circumstances the weather whatever it didn't matter But it was just my go-to behavior, my default behavior, my playlist. It's all I knew and all I was aware of. But wherever you find yourself, and, you know, probably you're farther down the field than I was, you know, in my life a couple years ago. But just know this, wherever you are, let's just call that your field. And wherever you are, there's treasure there. Even when it doesn't look like there's much there. Even when you can't see what's in front of you. I I listened to a a teaching a few days ago on Queen Esther. And and she was really amazing in the Bible. She was really, really amazing. Of course, when we hear, hear the word queen, we think riches and royalty and a life of just luxury and everything being, you know, all your needs being met and stuff like that. But she had tons of hardships. Even when she was taken away from all that she knew and into the royal palace, she still had hardships. But she was an orphan. I mean, she just, she faced so many trials. And I bet if we were just sitting around the kitchen table or hanging out at the coffee shop, you could tell me right now, you could probably name some people that are either going through something, maybe it's you, or you're coming out of something, or you're in the middle of something. That's just the facts. And Esther's no different than us. Queen Esther was no different from us. I mean, she faced hardships and tragedies and conflicts, and she had bad days. And she had good days, too. But you know what I'm saying. But she was a great example for us of God always shining through. I think so many times we think it's the next great thing that's going to to bring us to that breakthrough. But it's not really the next opportunity that's going to do that for us. It's how we choose to operate in the middle of it, in the middle of the mess. It's our obedience. It's our obedience to continue to have that attitude of of gratitude, which is what we base this whole Gritty Women movement on. We know that. The G is for a grateful heart, a heart of gratitude. So we've got to, we've got to harvest the good. They used to say that was, they would go into the fields, you know, way back in the day, like Bible times back in the day, like Ruth and Naomi days, you know, that kind of stuff. And they would plow and they would go after they harvested all the grain and barley, then they would go back and glean the fields. And that means they would pick up all the leftover stuff. And when you first looked out there, it looked like everything's gone. But honestly, there was enough there to feed their families. There was provision there. And it's no different from us right now. You might be looking you know, hypothetically at your situation thinking there's nothing that can come from this. But there is. There is hidden treasure there. There's opportunity there, even when we can't see it. And I think sometimes, you know, not more than sometimes, but oftentimes God places us in places that 
that are not just for us, but for his greater good. Honestly, it's really not about us, is it? I remember reading that in a book. Um, it was Scott Peck's The Road Less Travel um, way back in the day. And, and the first line was, you know, it's not about you. And I was like, what? <laughs> but really, it's really not. It's about his greater good, his his purpose. But one thing we know, we can we can put this in the bank. We know that God's timing is always perfect. He's never too late. He's never too early. He is always on time. Even when we feel forgotten or we feel like things are off. I'll be honest with you, the last the last couple of weeks, you know, I've been going through some some a growth a spurt as you might say. Um and so I've been very aware that there's just been some shaking going on. So I'm very aware of it. And I can't really see how it's going to all play out. I can't really see the big picture. But but this is one thing that I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt. I trust him. I trust my creator. I trust my daddy in heaven. Not the one that's gone to be with Jesus, my real live daddy, but my father, my, you know, Jesus, God, our creator. I trust him to direct each step. And that wasn't always the case. I mean, I think I always trusted God and everything, but there was a time there was so much noise and distraction and clutter in my life I, that I couldn't hear him. I, I I missed it for so many, so many times I missed it because I was so busy trying to solve it myself or it, the noise was so loud. I couldn't even hear his gentle nudge, his quiet, still voice, just trying to get my attention. But over the last seven years, and it did start with this practice of gratitude. I began to create these systems in my life to uh, to build a relationship with him so I could be so in tune that I would feel the nudges, that I would hear the, the small, gentle pushes, you know, that I would I would be quiet and listen to, you know, a, a sermon or a podcast or I'd read something in, in the Bible that would just kind of jump off the pages at me for the first time. So I've learned to, to harvest the good. So now it's, it's like I see these opportunities in real time, whereas before I missed so many of them because I was just so stressed. There was so much confusion and chaos. But here's the deal, y'all. He, you, and y'all know this. He is always faithful. Another a habit that I've created is is the first thing I do when I wake up is I begin to just speak these these certain Bible verses I've picked out um, over my my kids. They're all my kids are grown and they have you know they they have jobs and and one of them has a family and a new baby on the way and another one is you know is in the military and will eventually get to that place, but. I pray for them every day. It's it's a habit I've created. And one of the verses, and, it, and I'll share it with you because you might want to just start with this one verse, but it's Exodus 14, 14. And it's one of my favorites. The Lord God will fight for you. You need only to be still. So I don't know who's who's listening today, but let's just say that Sonia's listening today. The Lord God will fight for you, Sonia. You need only to be still. Or maybe it's Kedra is listening today. Kedra, the Lord God will fight for you. You need only to be still. So I would just encourage you to test that out. To start with yourself even. Pick out a verse and put your name in it. And, I, and I'll tell you that even though I know these things and even though I practice these things, sometimes it's still not easy for me. Because it's it's hard to escape. It's hard to darken the screen. Y'all, it's hard for me to even put my phone down sometimes. But I do have a morning rule now that there are no phone pickups until after gratitude and quiet time. And I do it most mornings. I don't, you know, turn on my phone or look at anything until I have done those two things. It's not easy, but I have created that habit. So, so here's the deal. Wherever you are right now in your life today, like right this minute, Whatever time it is, wherever you are, 
I want you to just be there and realize that this, this life and wherever you are, and where you find yourself today, it's not just about us, that every part of our lives, we are here to reflect God and his truth. And he's not shocked about where we are right now. He's just right there with us. The news you just received or the mess you might be digging out of, he's right there. He's in it. And, and we know this. He always wins. Light always wins over darkness. There will always be more good than evil in the world. So even when you can't describe how you feel or when others don't understand your pain or your situation, he does. So, so do me a favor. Don't, don't bury your dream. Don't bury your purpose and your passion. If you find yourself wanting more, that's a nudge from above. And you were, you were created for such a time as this, just like Queen Esther. Even though the hardships are, are going to come and go, the disappointments, the pain, separation, there's going to be a lot of joy too. Just like he was preparing her all the way, he's preparing you. So I want to say this too. If you ever want to jump on a discovery call with me, don't don't hesitate to do that. It's just a complimentary, complimentary discovery call. The number is 850-290-2446. Just text me and just just type in discovery. I'll be in touch with you when you set up time to chat. But sometimes, you know, all you need is a thinking partner. This is a big week um, in the gritty global world. So we're launching our new product. It's Spoken. That's the name of it. It's called Spoken. And you'll be able to check it out soon. Our website's all grittied up and ready to roll out. So I can't thank all of you enough for tuning in and being part of our expansion. And remember, the world needs us gritty. The world needs us at our best. And and it's not it's not what you're going through right now that's defining you. So reset your focus. And remember, you're always going to find what you're seeking. You're, you're going to find what you're looking for. Y'all, we could hit the internet right now and search until you find the information that lines up perfectly with what you're thinking. We know that. It's just like if you you know ever have whatever, some type of ailment, a headache or whatever. If you Google that, you can find 50 million jillion reasons why you might have a headache. But seek him first. Knock on the door. Keep knocking on the door and you'll never be disappointed. Thanks again for tuning in. And if you would, consider subscribing to the Gritty Women podcast. And if you know teens that would love the Gritty Girl podcast, send them, you know, the link to that. And I'd love for you to to leave a review for us. That'd be so gritty and so great. But until next time, be watching for our new product. Oh, I got to tell you this too about it. I'm just going to give you a hint, a couple of hints. It doesn't die. It doesn't wilt. It's sugar-free. One size fits all. Hmm. See if you can figure it out. I love y'all. And remember, gritty is the new strong. Gritty is the new pretty. And the world needs us at our gritty best. Talk to you soon.